Back from retirement to share her decades of experience, a local welder is sparking the interest of area high schoolers. Tahlil Mohadeen shares how one teacher and the students following in her footsteps are breaking barriers. Wanda White certainly knows her way around a blowtorch. You couldn't stop me. I was on a mission. After spending almost 30 years at Stoughton Trailers, she came to be known as quite the expert. And we don't want to stick to the table. But as one of only a few women in her field, that respect was hard earned. They look at your work and then they look at theirs and they say, oh, well, you know what? Maybe she's, she can do this, you know? And I'm looking at them like, yeah, I can do this. Now she's hoping to make it easier for other women. They call this an overlap. Wanting to pursue a career in welding. Oh, I love Wanda. She was just so funny. She's been amazing. Michaela Walk is one of eight high schoolers who signed up for Wanda's class, welding for women. It's been more than I was expecting. Honestly, I feel like I feel like I'm a grown-up adult here. The career exploration course is run by the Dane County School Consortium. The group's goal is to promote non-traditional occupations among students, in this case specifically, young girls. Turns out, uh, girls, women, um, can weld really well. I think it is helping me like not be as nervous to be able to weld with other people because it's a bunch of girls. And these girls say they're learning a lot about how much welding impacts the world and having fun doing it. For Wanda, that makes her job all the more rewarding. Matter of fact, I, I love those girls. In Stoughton, Tehlil Mahaddeen, News 3 Now. This is the second round for the Women for Welding class. The Dane County School Consortium also runs construction, automotive, pharmacy, and veterinary courses.